Welcome to Granny's Book Nook. Today's story is Happy St. Patrick's Day, Curious George, written by Cynthia Platt and illustrated by Mary O'Keefe Young. Wearing out of the green. Top of the morning, George. It's time to romp and play with a party, dancing, and parade. Everyone's Irish today. Head into the closet. Is there green in there? You have to dress up special. St. Patrick's Day is here. Little monkey top hat, fancy green plaid vest. George picks out his finest so that he'll look his best. Heading down the staircase, George can't believe his eyes. His friend is dressed in yellow. Now that's a big surprise. Eating breakfast quickly, and then they're on the run. Heading off to start the day with leprechaun field fun. Trapping leprechauns. Special table on the grass for each laddie and each lass. Lots of scissors, lots of glue, colored paper, glitter too. Yarn and cotton, crayons new. Decorate this box for shoes. Giant paintbrush, paint and globs. Green and yellow, rainbow blobs. George is ready. Craft is done. Now it's time to have more fun. Let's catch a leprechaun. Pot of gold. Crafts are done. Outdoor fun. Kids are out to play. Everybody's dressed up for this very special day. Chocolate coin. All kids join. Treasure hunt is on. Look around to find the gold that's hidden on the lawn. Pot of gold, wealth untold. George found the rainbow's end. The kind of loot to share around and not the kind to spend. Music starts, George departs. It's Monkey on the Run. He doesn't want to miss a beat. The dancing has begun. Step dancing. Girls with curls tap and swirl. Knees rise up with glee. Kick and jump. Toes go thump. Dancers one, two, three. Circle dance, bounce and prance. Round and round they go. Arms at sides. Bright high strides, cheeks and eyes aglow. George jumps in with a grin. Monkey toes are tapping. Dancers smile. Crowd goes wild. Everybody clapping. Four leaf clover. Then the fiddlers start to play and George jumps up with glee. Green balloons, snappy tunes. George watches from a tree. What's that on the ground there? Oh my, it cannot be. George jumps over, four-leaf clover. How lucky could he be? George thinks for just a moment before he makes a wish. Then he sniffs, takes a whiff, and wishes for an Irish dish. Tasty roast potatoes, warm and filling stew, fine corned beef and cabbage. There's just one thing to do. Monkey at the table, eating up his fill, starting to feel full now. Well, that is until Dishes piled with sweet things, green punch in a bowl. George jumps up to get some. Punch bowl starts to roll. Oh no, oh my, what has he done? 
George jumps up to clean. He smiles at his good friend and sees at last he's wearing green. His friend laughs and gives a hug. But now they're running late. They're going to a big parade and George just cannot wait. George loves a parade. Bagpipes blow, drums beat low, music fills the air. Bands in green fill the scene. The parade is finally here. Festive floats glide like boats down the crowded street. Irish flags, tail wags, marching to the beat. Looking round, Lost and found, at last, George sees his friend. Green and happy, looking snappy, here at the rainbow's end. Thank you for visiting Grammy's Book Nook. To get more information for this book, check the description box below. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Click the subscribe button for the latest videos on Grammy's Book Nook.